Hello, everybody. This is Richard Bird, and today I want to talk to you about the app Hootsuite. Hootsuite is a part of my social media set of apps that I use on a daily basis. Now, as you can see in my social media folder, I have Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, uh, Pinterest, Social Cam, Instagram, and a couple of others. And if you're like me, there are a multitude of social media applications that you use every day. What Hootsuite allows me to do is to grab all of that information, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, uh, and pull them into one place where I can see the streams and interact with people, but probably more importantly, I can keep control of my social networks without spending a exorbitant amount of time doing it. And so let me just show you. Hootsuite is available on the iOS. It's also available on Droid. Uh, PC and on the Mac. The desktop program or the desktop app is very robust, allows you to do a lot of things on it. But on my iOS device, I also use Hootsuite to kind of manage things when I'm away from my desk. Just by hitting the home button at the top, as you can see, here are my social networks that I'm, I'm working with on this particular device. There is my real source Twitter account. There's also my Richard Bird Facebook. Uh, a couple of my clients that I handle the social networking for them. One of my blog series, The Experience Dining Club, which is a Facebook group. So already you've seen LinkedIn, you've seen Facebook, Profiles, Facebook groups, and Twitter. Uh, and down here, I'm actually working on uh, Facebook pages. When you're in your feed, if you will, you're allowed to create what they call columns. And so my first column is everything that's happening inside of my Twitter feed. I'm in my real source Twitter feed. Anytime that I'm mentioned on Twitter, what tweets I've sent out, my direct messages, and even my scheduled messages. And I'm going to show you how to use that in just a second. Here is also a feed of my local people in Charlotte that I follow. So you can create in Twitter what they call lists. You can follow just those people and see what is happening just in those areas. So imagine you can have uh, a list of the most important people to you in your area or your church members or in your company, uh, any of that stuff. This is a great, great, great way of doing it, list. And then any direct messages that I'm sending out to anyone. The best part about that is I can create those columns for any of my accounts. So, so check this out. We're going to create something. Now I've created this post by clicking the arrow. It shows me all of the accounts I have connected to this device, to this Hootsuite. Now, on my desktop, I have over 45 or 50 accounts, and I'm using the pro version. I think in the free version of Hootsuite, you can use three to five. So maybe five, I think, is the most. But I pay, you know, a small amount of money, something like $5.95 or something a month. And uh, it allows me uh, a great number of accounts that I use. So... When I am in this field, I can choose what account I want to post this information to. And if you see the little pins there, 
that says uh, that is so that you can pin certain accounts that always show up, like sort of like your default accounts. And so I'm going to post this in my real source marketing. I'm going to post this on my J. Richard Bird page. I'm going to post this on real source and my J. Richard Bird Twitter accounts. And I may even go ahead and put that um, in my Richard Bird profile. Now, I hit done. Here's the great part. Uh, probably the one reason why I really, really use Hootsuite. I have the ability then to hit schedule. I have two options. The first one is auto schedule, which will just find the best time to post to each one of those networks. One, so they all don't come in at the same time. But if I have different things scheduled, so say I already have 10 scheduled tweets in, um, in Twitter, it'll go ahead and schedule the best time for that in Twitter, which may be different than the best time to schedule that for Facebook. So I kind of just always do auto schedule is good. But I also have the ability by turning auto schedule off to decide exactly when something will post. Now, how I use that is if I'm getting ready or gearing up, especially for say an event. And for some of my clients, they have church services on Sunday mornings. You know, I deal with a lot of churches. And so what I will do is I'll often go to, go in to Hootsuite and I'll schedule tweets that walk up to that church service. So nine o'clock, you still have time to make it to church, get dressed. 10 o'clock, hey, we're an hour away from our service. 10.45, we're 15 minutes before we're about ready to start. You can still make it. Here's the address, that kind of thing. Or if I'm going away, if I'm going away uh, from my desk, from my office, or just leaving the state, I will often schedule posts that will happen of things that are important while I'm while I'm away. And so, probably, I, I'm often asked, or you know, probably not even asked. I'm kind of told many times. You spend so much time on social network, how do you get anything done? My friends, this is how I do it. I often have things scheduled in advance that post throughout the day so that I can work and not be on social networks. I'll say that again. I often schedule things early in the morning or sometimes in the beginning of the week that post throughout my day so that I do not have to be on social networks and I can get my work done. So that's a quick look at, um, send that out. That's a quick look at Hootsuite and how I use it in my business daily. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks. Peace.